Now, I've been talking about PowerShell version 4, but what you're really going to be downloading and installing is the Windows Management Framework version 4. So you're going to go out to Microsoft and you're going to download. You can either search for PowerShell v4 or WMF4 or Windows Management Framework 4, or here is the link that, at least at the time of recording, would take you to the download page for the package. This will require the .NET Framework version 4.5 on most new operating systems. We seem to have that. So it's not as much of a obstacle or hurdle as it used to be, uh, but I will point that out. It does require uh, version 4.5 of the framework. As before, there are 32 and 64-bit installation packages. I'm going to encourage you to try to phase out your x86 systems. Hopefully, you're probably doing that anyway. Um, everything I'm going to be showing you will be done on a 64-bit uh, Windows 8.1 client. The really is not too much different, but again, be aware that when you install the 64-bit, you'll still get the 32-bit uh, links to the shells if you need them. So what you get with the Management Framework version 4 is, of course, primarily PowerShell version 4, both the console, the blue console you're probably familiar with, as well as, a, as, well as the ISE. Now, there really aren't any significant changes to WinRM or SIM, which you also get packaged along with the Management Framework, like you did with version 3. Uh, the PS1 file extension stays the same. The file and registry locations are still the same. It's still in the Windows System32 uh, PowerShell directory v1. None of that has changed. Uh, the only thing that has changed is some version number and obviously some updates to PowerShell 4, and that's what this course is all about, so you can discover what's new and what's changed. Uh, the management framework will also include OData. Uh, this is not something we're going to cover in this course, but if you are a developer type, um, this also was included, I believe, in version 3 of the framework, and you can continue to get that in version 4. The big thing that's added in the fr framework version 4 is desired state configuration, or DSC. This is the make it so approach to managing our servers. We'll cover this later uh, in the course, uh, but I want to give you kind of a little introduction as to what this is. With the make it so approach, we're saying, I have this configuration for a server, and I want this server to always be configured like this. Make it so. Again, we will look at some uh, basics of DSC in this course. I've got a few more details that I'll share uh, a little bit later in this lesson. So when you go into Microsoft and you go and download the Windows Management Framework file, what you're going to get is an MSU file. You can manually launch that file, follow the prompts, and you'll install the Management Framework and PowerShell version 4. There's no need to uninstall anything really beforehand. Uh, just let the update do its thing. If you prefer a silent installation approach, that is certainly possible. You basically run the MSU file. You can just run it as a command line. I've got the syntax uh, on the screen there. And use the slash quiet parameter, depending upon whether you're running the x86 or x64 bit or Windows Server 2012. The file name is different, but pretty much the same syntax. The name of the MSU slash quiet, and it'll get the job done. If you are running Windows 8 and want PowerShell version 4, as I mentioned, you will need to do the upgrade to Windows 8.1. However you want to do your upgrade, uh, then you can get PowerShell version 4. 